yeah, obviously, I am very, very happy, and uh, I like to observe happiness in people. Uh, for me, it was, uh, it was an incredible moment. I'm very proud of our boys. Uh, I'm very happy for the city, because they've been, even today, I know that Messi was in town. <laughs> but uh, still, they saw, and uh, I saw a lot of support for our boys. And so I'm very, I'm delighted for, for the boys, first and foremost, because I know that they were working hard in all season. We have been criticized for different reasons, but I told you that I had a lot of faith and trust in them. And uh, so very, very, very happy for everybody at the club and uh, for our supporters. The last two games, two goals and an assist. You know, Kalina came with a huge save there near the end. Maybe just talk about those two players in specific and just the importance. Everybody is important. Everybody is important, starting with the guys that they don't uh, make the squad. I want to repeat this message because it's, for me is an important message. It's key. Because if we're playing with intensity, if we're playing with this kind of uh, attention and, uh, you know, willingness to to play strong is because everybody involved, all the players involved, uh, they give the best. As I said many times, and I, that's my thought is with them, that uh, they is, is hard for them not to make the squad at times, but, uh, and so having said that, to come to your question, yeah, Kalina came with the goods at the end, uh, everybody I think he saw the header in, and he made an, unbelievable, made an unbelievable save, but we know that in those circumstances, Christian is, is one of the top goalkeepers in this league, in my opinion. Couldn't do anything against Messi, could do in the 1v1. Thank God he was offside. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can do anything against him. Because you think, well, you know he's going to cheat, but if you, if, you, if you stay up, he passed the ball into the net. So there's no chance against him. Um, and then Kerwin, Kerwin for me is, uh, I want to praise him more on, on his defensive work because uh, that he has talent, we all know, he can cross, he can shoot very well, he can pass the ball, technically he's very gifted and uh, he's learning to become also disciplined without the ball and uh, he, for me he played the most complete game of the season. Then after you say, why do you take him off? Because I think because of that he took a lot of energy from him and uh, we have players that come on and can do a job like Justin for example that he's a veteran in the league and he played that role very well minimizing the minimizing Yedlin which we know is a, is a very very good player when he attacks the space so yes uh, great games from Kale and Bakerwin but everybody <laughs> uh, Red Bulls is your next opponent how do you I guess assess that now that you have to travel to. We are very pleased to be in the playoff and to, to be alive. And, uh, and then, whatever team we needed to take, we will take. Uh, it would have been great to host for our supporters, but, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. This is what. Uh, it's important we are in the playoff. This is the most important thing. And then, after, we have to be ready for Red Bull. We know that they are a strong team with a. With the history behind them, and but uh, I think today we play against, in my opinion, one of the best teams in the league in terms of quality, in terms of tactically many many things. I think they are real force in MLS. And thank you. The playoffs. Um, talking about the quality of your opponent tonight, Tata just said that from his point of view. He thought that you guys were very deserving in clinching the playoffs and also that he thought the team has a really good um, style of play. So talk a little bit about that. And second part of the uh, question, if you could summarize this season in one phrase. <laughs> this is a question that you probably have to tell me a week before so I can prepare. <laughs> you, first of all, I want to thank Tata because for me, is one of the finest coaches 
that uh, when I was here with Patrick with New York City, he was with Atlanta, and he could see that he transformed the team. And and so for me, it's a, it's an honor to to play against these teams because of his experience and his knowledge. So that obviously pleased me. But I I accept the compliments. I am very happy, but I give it to my players because you can, I can talk as much as I want. That they have to go and play. So it's them that they have to be praised. Uh, in one, uh, I don't know, in one phrase is difficult. And uh, I would say the phrase that uh, Ash was saying at the end uh, of the, uh, their final whistle, which is sticking together. We have been, it's very easy when you are under pressure to divide and everybody, you know, trying to, but this group, they stick together. And, uh, and that for me, this is the, something that makes me proud because for me, the moral values are before the football values. So to have a team that stick together, and we had many, many difficult moments, you know, many times starting. And, uh, and uh, I said also to the boys that I want to mention Anton because I didn't mention during the season, but every, every day I've been thinking of him and he has been always in my thoughts on a daily basis and uh, it's time and I want to think of him and I want to uh, name him, nominate him because he, he would have been unbelievably happy tonight and uh, that's why I am I keep calm because I, I'm thinking of him while all this jubilation is going on. Thank you. Yeah, um, you mentioned, I mean, from the beginning of the season clear through till Wednesday, you guys had some difficulties late in the games. And, yes. um, but you pointed out that there were, there were a possibility for growth. Did they show you that growth tonight by holding the lead? From of the course, but they showed the, this growth since few games. That's why I wasn't happy that the accent is going to be put always about uh, conceding late. Okay, because it, that can happen. That can happen and of course as a coach I need to find a way but I even saw today again in Premier League Chelsea conceded the last minute the goal exactly like we conceded the last week in Miami. And these are guys that they are 40, 50 million so sometimes a mistake happens in football otherwise you never score goals. But I didn't want us to be labeled as the team that, uh, be, and because I thought that that would take away the growth that uh, this team has been going through, playing good football, playing courageous football, home and away, since at least uh, the first uh, the la the, the, the defeat we had in Miami, the four 0 even though we had a good run in the League Cup, I thought that after that, the first game against the LAFC, I think that we show different side of us. I think the boys were growing as a team and I didn't see a lot of a lot of uh, recogni recognition in that for them mainly. But because then Orlando scored late and then uh, Nashville scored late, always this, that for me is very reductive and I didn't like it at all because that is not our identity, is that we are growing as a team and we can give a game to everybody and then we will learn to win games. So I saw a lot of improvement again tonight against, for me, probably the best team we face uh, all season. A couple more, Eric. Just curious, your thoughts during those last two minutes when you were kind of playing pinball down there by the goal, what was going through your head? You know, I thought uh, I was calm, strangely, because normally these moments should uh, take away years of your life, right? <laughs> But I was strangely calm because I think it will be what, uh, what it will be. And the way he has to go, he will go. Because we know that also Messi tried to score from corner. Uh, so until the 90th minute, he didn't want to lose the game. He's still for me the best player in the world, despite what people say. And uh, I know that they have the quality with Alba, with Busquets, the experience and the, the other players that the ball can go your way and another way. What do you say? And then after we will have again, you know, you will concede at the last minute. So I'm, I took it with philosophy and I say it will be what it will be. 
I knew that the boys would have thrown everything against it, and I would have been devastated mainly for them. But uh, he went as uh, he had to go. Congratulations. This was a significant uh, mark in Charlotte's long soccer history. Um, was was there any dis out of the normal nervousness or uh, apprehension like before the game started? I didn't feel nervous at all. But not because I wanted. No, I thought that uh, we had the plan, and I said to the boys that we have to align our head with our heart, because we play with a lot of heart in many games, and sometimes we let the heart rule our head. And uh, our improvement it will be in that as well. And I think that the boys tonight they were they were really good at that because this, this is a team that uh, as soon as you make uh, a little mistake you get punished. And so to concede not so much to them, something you have to concede is important. If Messi did take the ball, he, he dribbled, there's no one can stop him. And so you try your best and I think that uh, you become nervous, in my opinion, when you try to control things you cannot control. So you are, you know, you have feeling this pressure that you need to win at all costs and so, but in order to win you have to focus on what you do. And I thought that the players were really good in that, and I tried to transmit that. Let's align our head with our heart. With the, the most difficult thing is to have the heart. They have it in abundance, our players. I thought that the team played individually and collectively. They stepped up, and uh, especially like Copetti, the last match was much more obvious scoring a goal. But the work he does off the ball, I, I think, is as valuable as anything. If you could speak to that, and who are some of the other unsung heroes less obvious heroes of this game were? I think Enzo play really well and uh, at times they put pressure and in a game where the boys, they know the importance of staying in the game uh, and, and try to win it. Sometimes we could play a little bit better from the back. We decided not to, not to give ourselves silly mistakes, both potential. So Enzo in this case is very important because he can hold the ball, he can fight. And uh, to have a number nine like that is very important. So for me, he played really well. Uh, he nearly scored the, the, the same goal when Kerwin crossed the ball from the same spot against them, just for a little, yeah, for an inch. That would have been amazing. But uh, I think Enzo is a very good player. and. Uh, he gave us a lot of uh, a lot of uh, qualities that this team needs. And so here, I don't know. There are many. Uh, all of them, also the guy, the guys that they came on. But if I have to name one, I want to say Yere Uronen because a lot of times he was uh, with Messi, and uh, his experience at international level helped him to be calm. He's a calm guy, and he came from his national team. Uh, and uh, I thought uh, he's one of those players that normally goes under the radar, but uh, very important for the team. All right, last one for Sam. Coach, so, I, I wanted to ask you, with, with this win um, and everything that you've accomplished, you know, you, we, we still have the playoffs to go, but um, it's a two-parter, number one, just how proud are you of these boys and all the work that you've done with them? And I'll, I'll ask the second one after that. Very, very proud of the boys because, as I said, they have been working hard. I remember having press conferences uh, after we lost at home against Atlanta, after we, lost, we had some uh, difficult loss. And here against New England at the very end, in a game we didn't play well, but you know, in front of 70 plus, and they got a lot of criticism. I got a criticism, but that, that doesn't matter. I I saw a team that they fight in training. They came to training always with a big uh, with a big attitude, and so because of that, I think that uh, because of that, I think that uh, they, that makes me really really proud of of the boys. Second, you know, there was an entirely different atmosphere on Wednesday down in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Um, 
tonight you had an absolutely electric crowd. How much difference did that make? Uh, that makes a huge difference. That makes a huge difference. I know, as I said before, that uh, it was uh, probably because Messi is in town, but uh, that's great. It happened with Pulisic as well when he came here with Chelsea. But I think that the more people come to see us, the more people come to see that we also have very, very good players, talented players, that they can play toe-to-toe -to -toe even with the best in the world. And I think that uh, the crowd that we have is one of the things that I said from day one really uh, surprised me in a positive way. And uh, is one of the best in the league. We get praise or because of that. And I hope that they can come more and more. That's why it would have been great to host. But it's okay. We try. We want to bring more uh, more playoff games here uh, because we want this kind of crowd uh, to accompany to accompany us to be with us as uh, as much as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.